Welcome to Make Space by KP, a boat building and woodworking gym. It's a gorgeous fall day. Time to get to work. This is where we left her. Progress is slow but steady. We did a lot of mouse cleanup. However, we didn't do mouse deterrent. Mm-hmm. I'm out getting mouse traps. Look at that. Alden Road. Ah, there's more at the sink. I did some research. They are repelled by essential oils, including peppermint, eucalyptus, lemon, citronella, but I don't have any essential oils here. But they are repelled by vinegar, sort of. Spider Augustus, the little kitten you may have met. I didn't hire him today. I'm not gonna fire him, but he's still in training. He sent me with these when the going gets tough. That's what we're gonna use. The internet claims this is what keeps mice away. Lavender vanilla bean dryer sheets. This is not an ad, this is just, let's do this again. Let's get these puppies set up. Oh, that was clean and now it's not. Oh, golly. Hmm. Somewhere around here is Pete, friend of project who's come from Georgia to Massachusetts with a shopsmith joiner. Let's go find him. Aha! There he is. Howdy! Hi. Here, here's a uh, heron right around the corner. Okay. We're learning knots here. All right, give me your hand, Pete. Never coming off. Oh, that's good. This, you shouldn't try at home, because then you'd be stuck. Always have somebody with you. And then they left. <laughs> See? You never trust a stranger with a knot. This is Peter. He gave me his, never gave me his shopsmith plane. joiner, and then he left. Walk the plane. He went back to Georgia. Well, thanks for the joiner. I also like just the, you do an overhand on this. They're like a stopper on a stopper knot, basically. So it's an overhand. Okay. And, and then an overhand. All right. So they're joined together, uh, yeah. but you can also yep. loosen yep. them. I love tying knots. So if you can't lie. tie good knots, tie, tie a lot. lot. <laughs> I'm so psyched. Thanks for the joiner. I come and see the boat. This is my flying boat. You have a flying bullet. I love it. Once they figured out how, but that's that's, how that's so doing. good. Jeez, I had a practice. I use these every year, but. <sighs> Activity over here, maybe I'll put two. Let's see what that brings tomorrow. I'll check it in the morning. As far as the belts. Okay, fine. I'll throw them away. The boat's not clean enough quite to sleep aboard, but camping out in a boatyard is kind of fun. And that way I'll be up and ready to go bright and early. I'm going to wrap it up for the night. I'll see you in the morning.
Morning. Some bungs need to be replaced. A lot of this seems like pretty good, but then sometimes the caulking comes out. So I have to pull that caulking, replace it with fresh before I compound the seams. Spiders have been busy. Look at all the shiny spider webs. It looks cool. This edge was squared off and then filled. So I just scraped it out to check it all out. It looks good. The gap's a sizable but not too big. Down here, however, where the keel meets the garboard. That is a bigger gap than I feel comfortable with. And it was also filled with a different kind of compound. I have a sneaking suspicion that's lead putty. It has that texture. So I'm gonna do a little more research on what some alternatives are to putting in there. Now up here is a newer installation. This is a transducer that measures speed through the water, depth, etc. So when you have these seams like that, butt joints, there's a block underneath that spans all the planks and gets fastened in. You can see it's fastened to the planks and then that just holds, holds the whole thing in. Because the weather will be only this warm so much longer, I've decided to do the seams in sections so that I can reef out and recompound before it gets too cold. I don't think I'll be able to do the whole boat before the freeze comes, and I don't want to reef out seams and leave them open all winter. So I'll focus on the, the forward section, finish reefing out, get some cotton caulking and seam compound in the near future. It's a beautiful morning though. Got a little of everything. Lemon eucalyptus essential oil, just regular eucalyptus, and peppermint. I'm just gonna use them all. <laughs> Maybe. That sounds, whatever, I, whatever. I set out four mouse traps last night. Two are untouched. One is, did its job. And one I can't find. We'll see. We'll see where the fourth one is. Let's start with peppermint. Go for it. In the cockpit storage here, I figure more scent is better based on the nests down in there. Mouse saga continues. Looks non-threatening down there, but we'll see when we get there. Okay. Still intact. Peanut butter's still there. Two there. But that did its job. And then there was a fourth one that I put right there. And I don't see it. I don't see it. It's been cleaned a few times, but you wouldn't know it. Well, I'm scared about that fourth one. Is there anything in there? No. How far could it have gone? Will I step in it? I figured it would have jumped nearby, but it's not even in there. Gosh. There? No. Should be scary background music. Is it in there? No. It's not down in there. Oh, but you haven't seen down there. The keel up forward. To check those keel bolts out. That one might need a little attention. Let's see what's down in there. Anything? Huh. So far, no sign. Still a missing mouse trap. <laughs> I don't. I hope I'm not recording when I find that thing. Oh, which one of these? Because this looks simple. There it is. Should probably take these home and clean them up because I don't like how the mouse stains. No, I have gloves on, but I still don't want to touch it. Nah. I've done this like a thousand times. Just to look. I feel like it's a horror movie. <laughs> okay. 
come this close to the sole. Ew. So I came across these pieces of mahogany that are clearly for something and I finally figured out what. They fit here and here and then there's a, a table that extends this into a berth. While I'm here, oh wow, yep. Over the summer these sole boards were too swelled to open up easily. Welcome to the bilge. Oh yeah, there's a correct frame. Oh, that's a bilge pump. So I've sistered in a couple stringers here. I see at least two cracked frames. Three cracked frames. Let's see if we can get down in there, I'll show you. It's also been very carefully sistered in. This is bronze strapping. There's a special relief cut out to fit in the strapping to hold that in. I mean, it's, it's not supported by anything but this and you can see that this is giving away distorted from the force of that cracked frame so that's that will have to be addressed here is oh no that's not the cracked one that's this needs to be refastened and then look back here oh that's not cracked that's just they're just two layers it's just a laminated frame to make it easier to bend that's not cracked at all that's good news and we have the butt block here time to open another sole board and see what's back there. Oak frames, mahogany planks. The wiring's a little corroded, but not as badly as I thought. I have seen no evidence of eating up the wiring so far. Need a vacuum in here. It's definitely been rewired. Neatly done, 14 gauge. So far, so good. I like what I see. Whoa, there's another one. Big crack, big crack. Our, oh, but it's been repaired. Oh, that's, wow, this is getting better and better. If you look next to it, you can kind of see in there the replaced frame that seems to go all the way up to the shear. Wonderful. Wow. I can't believe how lucky I got. This is amazing. Just when I think I find something, it's already been repaired. <laughs> but what lies back there? Dun dun dun. Ooh, and a lot of mildew. I Ugh. found it. I found nothing, nothing, nothing. And then I am about to close the boat up. And boom! There it is. A mouse trap. And there's definitely, yep, definitely a mouse. Two for one night. It's not bad. Be back. And I'll bring more mouse traps with me. <laughs> Joiner takes the place of where the bandsaw goes. Headstock. Ha <laughs> Those need some serious sharpening. Three blades, tighten them. Set screws, and I also have to do a lot of cleanup to this sole and the fence. But I guess I need to read the directions. There's a part missing somewhere. This won't work. This and this need to be on the same plane, which is on this plane. However, that's way too low, like six inches. Lift it up. No. I don't think there's an adapter. Directions. I had high hopes of an exciting ending, but my exciting ending is trick-or-treating. Happy Halloween.